So what's the most efficient way to start testing your products either on Instagram or Facebook to not lose as much money and have a higher chance of finding a winning product? Hey, what's going on guys? Shri Kanase here and today we're going to be talking about products and product testing. So if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button down below because I'm providing value basically every day and be sure to like this video because that lets me know that these videos are indeed helpful to you all. We're growing extremely fast and I'm very thankful for everyone who has subscribed and if you haven't already, do click the subscribe button down below. So this time around, I actually wanted to explain the things and then write them down instead of having it all written down first. So let's begin. The very first thing when testing products is that I always test with Instagram influencers. Now recently I have begun testing more with, with just Facebook but when I was new and when I wasn't finding any success with Facebook, I would rely more on the Instagram influencer for testing my products. So start with Instagram. And if you guys actually need an in-depth explanation on Instagram influencers and how you make the perfect ad for Instagram or how you find the right caption, do check out my other videos because I go very in-depth in them. And I also have a new file for you all which is a example Instagram caption and the link will be down in the description below. Basically what I did is I went through my old Instagram ads and I took out the exact layout of how I used to create my Instagram captions. And in Instagram influencer advertisements or even in Facebook, the caption is very important and it could determine whether you get any sales or not. So be sure to check it out and download it, it's completely free. But in general, for the Instagram influencers, the caption needs to be interesting. In essence, why should the customer even click on the link or purchase the product from you? You need to make sure that you capture the person's attention and make it int interesting enough so that they click on the link and are persuaded to buy your product once they land on your page. So there's basically only these two steps that you need to take for testing Instagram influencers. But the image that you put on the page also matters a lot. So definitely do make sure that your Instagram advertisement image and the caption are all on point because those will determine whether you are successful or not. And the metric that I look at when deciding whether I should continue with the product or not is the amount of engagement that I get once I put out my ad. So engagement is important. Basically, are there people tagging each other in the post or how many likes does it have, etc. What happens is many times you might find a bad Instagram influencer page and even if the pr product has potential, it may not do so well on the page. And this is why I recommend that you test the product on at least two to three different pages. Once you test it on at least three pages and you, you, the results are the same, that's when you know that you should move on to something else. I have made a very in-depth video on product research and that is exactly how I find my products to test on Instagram. And this is the strategy that I use for testing. So just to outline it for you all, start with Instagram, make a good image, find a good image on AliExpress and use it for the ad make a good caption and also be sure to ask for their audience insight so you know the best time to post the ad because if you post on at the time when everyone the audience is asleep you will get literally no sales so it's very important that you ask for the audience insights basically asking for the screenshot and making sure that you are posting your advertisement on the time when it's the most popular the next thing that we're going to be talking about is facebook ads so Facebook ads. I definitely recommend that you start with Instagram because Facebook is a whole another world. It's very complicated for beginners. It took me literally months to learn. But I'll, I'll be making a video on how I do the targeting for Facebook and basically a more in-depth video on Facebook. For But for this one, what you want to do when you're creating those campaigns is always make sure that you choose conversion campaign for purchase. So conversion campaign for purchase you may have heard that many people do PPE ads which is just for engagement or video views ad 
but I literally never do those because in the end all we want is sales and sales come from the purchase ads not the engagement ads and like I say engagement won't pay your bills so definitely start with the c conversion ads for purchase and you want to make sure that you're creating one campaign for one product so it's basically think of a campaign as a product individual product every different product that you have you need to have a separate campaign so for testing one product you need to do one campaign and within that one campaign you can do multiple ad sets for testing what I like to do is 10 to 20 ad sets I know this is a lot and if you don't have the budget you might not be able to do this much but I highly highly recommend that you do 10 to 20 ad sets because the more ad sets you have the higher the chances of one ad set out of those working because in the end 20 only 20 percent of the ad sets will work while 80 percent will fail and if the more you have the higher the chance so this is why I always begin with 10 to 20 ad sets and within those ad sets always be sure to have different types of targeting in them you can literally press the suggestions tab in while targeting and you'll get a list of very similar interests to the one you typed in and that is exactly how I do my targeting but definitely make sure you're trying every single interest out there because you never know what could work I have literally had interests work for me that I never in my entire life would have imagined might have worked so you literally need to try every single thing you can think of and one other thing that I like to do which nobody else might recommend is leaving the language to empty don't write any language like English just leave it blank so language blank don't write anything what I have found from my own experience is that if a person wants to purchase something the language barrier isn't much because they'll end up purchasing it anyways so unless you're really targeting countries like worldwide you should probably have language as English but since I always test with USA only I leave language blank so this is literally the most efficient way for testing the product start with Instagram and then move on to Facebook ads or you can do Facebook ads if you're experienced but definitely need a good image definitely need a good caption for that to work and in the end the product needs to be a winner if the product sucks it doesn't matter what kind of image you have or what kind of, what kind of caption you do it won't sell as much so definitely spend a lot of the time doing product research following the steps that I have shown in my previous video and also use these steps to test your products and lose the least amount of money and have a higher chance of finding that winning product that will make you six figures.